What's going on? This is Marcellus and another episode of Comic on Comics. I had to do this episode really quick to shout out some of the things. If you notice, I have a stack of comics. That's backlog of episodes that I need to do. Uh, the, the brown ones are from Golden Apple. The white bags are from Comic Factory in Pasadena. And then there's a couple of them that's in here from this shop that I got this from right now, which is Comic Seller in Alhambra. I'm going to list all those comic book places right here in the corner, and I'm going to get right into this. First of all, I would like to shout out XAng143 Dave X because they're the ones that pointed this out and told me to go over here and check this out. Uh, their Instagram, their Instagram profile that I follow, excuse me. They are an Instagram profile that I follow that they do pops, comic books, they have raffles, and majority of the time, if there's something that you're looking for that you need or if they know that you like, they'll put you up on it. They'll tell you where it is around your area or they'll try and get it for you and ship it to you at cost, not with any type of profit. So I got to shout them out and put them up right there. If you've been following my page or you've been following these videos, then you know this, this group. Um, shout out to Ange and Dave. They're the homies. I appreciate this. Um, so what they did was they pointed out to go check out the dollar bin at Comic Seller. They said they had a lot of different things there that's out of control. And I was like, all right, cool. Let me go see what's going on. And dude, I lucked up. I spent about $35 uh, before taxes. And I got some issues that I've been looking for for a long, long time. Uh, shout out to Black Panther. The movie was dope. It has nothing to do with nothing. I just had to do this. Let's start it off with this. This is Robin, son of Batman, number four, uh, a brush with Deathstroke. Now, if you're not familiar with Robin, son of Batman, this is Damian Wayne, the son of Thalia and Bruce Wayne. It's a dope series. A lot of people have really fallen in love with this Robin. I didn't like it at first. I thought it was just some gimmicky son of Batman type thing, but honestly, he's really cool. He's living up to the name, and I'm liking a lot of the things that that's throughout the comic. Uh, in this issue... I, I, I was brought to this attention because there used to be this top 10 thing on, um, I forgot what's the name of the comic book site. I think it was Comic Vine. They used to do their top 10 uh, uh, scenes from a comic book of this week, of the new comics this week. They stopped. They're not really putting up new stuff, but Comic Vine, you need to start doing it again. It was dope. And this is one of the things they pointed out, and I wanted to get it, but I didn't get it because I was working and all these things, and I'm not following the series. Although my collection of Batman, son of... Uh, I mean, Robin, son of Batman, is getting really epic. I'm collecting a lot of stuff I've been looking for. Uh, this was one of them that missed me, number four. This episode, this issue is, is epic for three reasons. Rule of three, baby. Number one, uh, it's Damien versus Deathstroke. Crazy. Do I need to say more? Do I need to go? No, it's crazy. Um, they go to work. It shows how strong Damien is. It shows how, what kind of sick person Deathstroke is. Number two, it shows Damien trying to protect those that he loves um, by any means necessary, or not even love those that he care about. And number three, it's because of this scene right here. Now, I don't know if you can see it really well. I put it up right here again. Basically, Damien and Destro have been fighting throughout the whole fucking comic book. He doesn't know how to get rid of them. And he realizes that Deathstroke is just after money and offers and tells him, how much would it cost to get you to leave me alone? Destro says five million. Damien sends him the five million, and Destro leaves him after alone. That was dope as heck to me. It was something that no one saw coming. Uh, a lot of people thought it was—I don't know. Some people probably thought it was campy and stupid. I thought it was hilarious and it was cool. Um, even at the end, because Destro, he respects him for what he did, and gives him some pointers and talks to him about what's going on and what the future of just like being an assassin's life. Uh, so yeah, that, this is really cool. I can't believe that I got this. So you know what we do it over here? We bag it up, bag it up. If you care about it, you really want it, you're going to put it in a bag, right? You're going to bag and board it. I know a lot of them dough boys be out there bagging up they dope. This is how we bag, bag our stuff up, you know, for the future. But yeah, we're going to bag this up real quick. And then we're going to get into the next set of comics. Like that in there, like that. Yeah, so um, Robin, son of Batman. Also, 
that's the thing. I got this for a dollar. And it's in wonderful shape. It's like, it has a couple of little creases, but nothing bad, nothing bad at all. This is like really dope. It's in the, no tears, no rips, no miscolors, no nothing. Just a couple of little small on the side, but. Next, oh, no, I'm not gonna get into that. I know you see it already, but next we're gonna get into this. I'm a big Bruce Lee fan. I am. I was, I remember arguing with one of my friends that from that, it was, it was a biopic about Bruce Lee, and one of those lines that really got me that I liked was they're like, in China, in Hong Kong, we don't call it the Green Hornet Show, we call it the Kato Show. And when I saw this comic, this is a comic from 1991, I believe, it's called the Kato, it's called Kato, and it's basically going on the lines of like Bruce Lee's character from the Green Hornet. I like that, it's dope, let me see, yeah, 1990, it's from November 1991, um, it's a wonderful condition. And it just made me think of that one scene, so I had to pick it up for nostalgia reasons. I'm a big Bruce Lee fan, like I said, and just to have that Kato number one. I'm a 90s baby, too. That's another thing. I know a lot of people claim to be 90s babies, but I really am a 90s baby. So for me to get this, it means something. Big Bruce Lee fan, big 90s. Yeah, so as I said before, we're going to back that up. Kato, number one. It's from Now Comics, something that I've never really heard about. Uh, the artist is Mike is Mike Barron. Um, it's an alright shape. You can tell it's been from, it's from the 90s. You can tell that it hasn't been in a it hasn't been in a boarded and bagged. But it is still pretty dope. The art is pretty dope. The cover with the green hornet in the background. Kato. Number one from Now Comics. I'll take it. Now let's get into this. Now, recently I have become a big question fan. I really like the question. Uh, I started researching where I could find the first issue of the question, the first appearance of the questions, and it was in Blue Beetle comic books, which also made it just, just annoying to try and find. So I've been looking for any, 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 Oh, I'm about to sneeze, excuse me. <coughs> so I've been looking for any older Blue Beetle comic books that has... <coughs> Come on. So I've been looking for any older Blue Beetle comic books that has the question in it. Uh, originally, when I went... I've, I've gone to a couple of places and I'll find Blue Beetle comic books, but I won't find anything that has question. It'll either be right before the question is going to be in it or right after he made an appearance and it had nothing to do with him. So to catch this for a dollar, it, oh my God, I was just so happy. This is one, I, re, I haven't had so many of these finds recently, so this is a big find for me. Blue Beetle number five, the question is back and the answer is murder. Uh, it's a dope uh, comic where it's guest scarring the question and I haven't actually got to read it yet. All right, I'm sorry. I don't know why I just started sneezing. It's probably because this, these comics are kind of old and dusty, which is a good sign to me. I'm not going to complain. Uh, sorry for that. But like I was saying, um, to catch anything that has the Blue Beetle and the question in it, I'm happy. For a dollar, it's an older comic from October of 1986. Blue Beetle number five. I love this. 
Um, that right there got me really excited. I haven't been able to find stuff like that for a while. I haven't had any like, oh my God, something I've really been looking for for a dollar. So thank you, XAnge143, Dave X. Put their name up there again. Thank you. And thank you, Comic Seller, for having this there. At Blue Beetle number five with the question on the cover. And then I kept looking. That was in one box. I just kept looking, kept looking. I was like, you know how you are when you're in the, in a, you know how you are when you're in the comic book shop. They got that dollar section with a billion comic books. And you, you keep telling yourself like, I'm going to go. I'm going to go at blah, blah, blah. I'm going to go at blah, blah, blah time. I'm going to go at blah, blah. And you just keep staying. I kept staying. And I kept looking, kept looking, kept looking. And then I found Blue Beetle number six with Blue Beetle and the question on there. Face off. And that's just dope. That's dope. So I was able to find number five and number six for a dollar each. Um, it was in two boxes over. So that, that shows like, you know, not so often. It's in really great condition too. I don't know if you can. The pages are yellowed a little, a little off color. I'm not going to say yellow. They're not yellow. They're like vanilla. They like a little bit of vanilla. French vanilla, they like a little bit of vanilla. But they, it's in the comic book is in really good condition. It says it's from 86. Really? It's about as old as me. Mm. But um, yeah, this is one of those times where, you know, when you're looking. Hold on. You know, when you're just looking through boxes and you feel like, uh, why am I doing this? It's a waste of time. And you find that one thing. Recently, for me, a lot of times it's been like, why am I doing this? This is a waste of time. And I haven't find, I don't find anything too crazy where I'm just like, oh my God, this is like an oh my God moment. To get number five, number six with the book. Yeah, I'm happy about that. October and November. So, Blue Beetle, number five, number six. Now, last but not least, I know you guys wonder, like, that's already in Plaxi. Why you got these over here? I should have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I got this perfect label out. I like bagging it up. I bag stuff up. This is my thing. Now, let me go get a knife. Got that little pick sticker right there. All right. So... Um, if you've watched any of my other videos, you've seen that one of my favorite storylines is Planet Hulk and also World War Hulk, where the Hulk comes back after, you know, having a family and everything and destroys the Marvel Universe. Like it might have, it should have been Hulk destroys the Marvel Universe because the way he goes through and goes through some of the biggest, baddest people in the Marvel Universe is ridiculous. Uh... I have the trade, but I didn't have the first print of World War Hulk, and it was really messing with me. I had some issues in between. I had like X-Men, blah, 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 where he goes and bangs on Professor X's door. So for me to get this, it's kind of out of control. Uh, I was able to get this for about 30 bucks from the same comic book shop. And it's basically the prologue through issue number five, the whole complete issue of uh, World War Hulk. So we got number five, where he goes against Sentry. Number four, now that's my favorite right there, where he's sitting on a throne and he has Iron Man, uh, Black Bolt, Doctor Strange, and Reed Richards fight for him in the Gladiator. Uh, this is, that's probably my favorite issue, number four. Uh, number three, look at that. That's classic Hulk right there. With the tank going to work. Oh, man. You don't know how excited I am. Once again, like I said, I haven't had too many times where I've gone to the comic book shop and I got these crazy finds I've been looking for. This is something I've been looking for for probably about a few years, a couple of years now. Um, and just to, to nothing. I can never really find it for a decent price. To find it at these prices right now, I'm excited as hell. I'm so excited. So, uh, number three, that classic Hulk with the tank. Ugh. Might as well be, uh, what's it call it? No Limit Road Soldier. Then we got number two, where we got some of the heroes trying to stop him. Got Spider-Man in his black costume. Got Luke Cage, She-Hulk. And if I'm not mistaken, this is right after the Civil War. So all the Marvel, all like Marvel Earth is really just out of control. And there's just nothing, there's no organization to it. It's, it's just... 
they're messed up. Oh, wow, that's Black Panther over there, too. I didn't even notice that. But, yeah, they just, no one knows what they think. People are dead. People are left. All types of stuff happened because of the Civil War. And then Hulk shows up and is like, hey, y'all did something wrong to me. I'm about to bang on you. Then we got, that was number two. So it goes number one when he's just like, hey, guess who's back? Yeah, I got to do that again. I guess who's back? And then we got the prologue to it, which basically tells the backstory of everything that was going on. And why he's coming. Why the Hulk world breaker is coming. Um, top three superheroes as it is. It's probably going to be Ninja Turtles, Donatello, Donatello. Gotta bag this up, baby. I didn't. I, I had to take it out of that one big bag and put it into their own separate. I had to. I had to. It was bothering me being like that. That's why I had to hurry up and do this video. That's why I got this stack of comics over here, but I did this video right now. Like, those are just, like, regular comics that came out recently. That's, um... So we got Prologue. Looking good, all bagged and looking pretty, looking brand new. The comic is out of control, too. There's nothing wrong with any of them. Like, if I send these in, these are nine points, baby. So that's another great thing. Thank you to Comic Seller. I used to talk a lot of crap about Comic Seller. I still do sometimes because it seems like it's just one of those comic book shops that really, they don't care. They, they're just there. And I don't blame them for being just there. I appreciate them just being there. But, like, when you have places like... We have places like Comics Factory that's just like, they're there for their comic book shop, the enthusiasts for the, for the culture, you know what I mean? That number one, look at that, looking brand new and flossy. To get it at this price, too, is out of control. But I forgot what I was saying. Um, yeah, I forgot what I was saying. Bagging this up. Comics on comics. War War Hulk. Um, yeah, we got one. They need to make this a. They need to make this a. I mean, like it's in crazy good condition. Nothing wrong with. Oh my gosh! Every time I look at it, it's like brand new. Like, I don't even understand how it was kept this new. Number two. Yeah, we're bagging this up right now. Yeah. I need, you know, that's probably something I'm going to start getting into is like reviewing uh, comic book shops. Oh, yeah, that's what I was talking about. My favorite comic book characters. Top three characters. It's got to be Hulk. It hasn't always been like that. Before, I, I would have told you like Wolverine, Spider-Man, and... I've been like Wolverine and Spider-Man and, and Gambit. Like Gambit's always going to be number one for me, so Gambit doesn't even count. We're not even talking about Gambit is my favorite. But my top three characters, especially after World War Hulk, after Civil War. As Civil War and World War Hulk really shook me up. So, I mean Planet Hulk, excuse me. Planet Hulk, World War Hulk, and Civil War really shook me. So after that, it was definitely Captain America, Hulk. And um, what's it call it? Captain America, Hulk, and damn, who's my other favorite character? Oh, Gambit. Yeah, Gambit. Oh, no, yeah, Captain America, Hulk. Excuse me. Yeah, definitely after Civil War. If you had asked me before who was my favorite comic book characters, I probably would have told you, like, uh, Ninja Turtles, and which they are, they are. Um, and, and, uh, Wolverine right now, my top characters is like Hulk, Captain America, still like Donatello from the Ninja Turtles. Uh, Miles Morales is killing it for me. But yeah, I need to do a top five of those. But yeah, this is out of control. So this is something I recently got to pick up from Comic Seller. That World War Hulk. And then I got the Blue Beetle number five and six, Kato. So shout out to Comic Seller, shout out to X Ange one four three Dave X, 
And shout out to my regular comic book shop at Golden Apple and Comic Factory in Pasadena. You guys are amazing. Uh, this is a cool comic book haul. I'm, thank you. Thank you. I'm really blessed right now.